Scientists say that we are closer than ever to fully understanding the workings of our universe. What is Euclid's mission in space? What mysteries can the spacecraft help scientists solve? And why do we need another spacecraft after the many already in orbit? Join us in this video as we explore the impossible discovery that Euclid has just made in deep space. Our understanding of the world, how it works and what makes it work, is born out of the scientific method we hold as standard. This method and approach to study decide the lens through which we view the world, observe facts, and relate with data. The systematic approach allows scientists to investigate natural phenomena, acquire knowledge, and understand the world around us. It involves a series of steps and procedures designed to form hypotheses, conduct experiments or observations, analyze data, and draw conclusions based on empirical evidence. From information technology, medicine, engineering, food technology, and agriculture to construction, the bulk of our lives depend on this method. With a strong emphasis on objectivity, empirical evidence, and iterative experimentation, we have used this construct to uncover truths about the natural world. This same approach is why scientists at the European Space Agency developed the Euclid mission as a space telescope mission with the primary goal of investigating dark energy, dark matter, and the overall structure and layout of the universe. Euclid's mission is threefold. One, it seeks to understand what scientists call dark energy. Dark energy is the unknown force that scientists believe is responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe. Euclid seeks to understand what this energy looks like and how it behaves by observing the clustering and distribution of galaxies over the past billions of years. Two, the mission is to map out the distribution of dark matter in the universe using the gravitational lensing technique. Dark matter, which is an invisible substance, has been observed to exert gravitational effects on visible matter and light. Euclid is expected to help astronomers indirectly map its distribution by observing how it bends light from distant galaxies. 3. Euclid will also seek to conduct a wide-field survey of galaxies and cosmic structures, measuring their positions, shapes, and distances with high precision. This surveying of galaxies is to help provide crucial data to study the large-scale structure of the universe, its evolution over time, and the relationships between galaxies. Now that we know what Euclid's mission is, what is Euclid? Euclid, launched on July 1, 2023, is a wide-angle space telescope with a 600-megapixel camera developed by the European Space Agency and the Euclid Consortium. The two tons heavy spacecraft emerged from two mission concepts proposed in response to the ESA Cosmic Vision 2015 to 2025 call for proposals issued in March 2007 called Dune which is short for Dark Universe Explorer and Space short for Spectroscopic All-Sky Cosmic Explorer both missions proposed complementary techniques to measure the geometry of the universe after an assessment and study phase, a combined mission resulted. Euclid was selected by the European Space Agency's Science Program Committee for implementation in October 2011 and formally adopted on June 25, 2012, as part of its plans to probe the history of the expansion of the universe and the formation of cosmic structures by observing distant galaxies, Euclid comes with a truckload of instruments to achieve this. Some of them include the Visible Imaging Channel Instrument. This instrument is a large, visible light camera that captures high-resolution images of galaxies across a wide field of view. It operates in the visible wavelength range of about 530 to 920 nanometers, allowing Euclid to observe and catalog billions of galaxies. According to René Lorais, Euclid project scientist, these exquisite Euclid images show that the mission is ready to help answer one of the greatest mysteries of modern physics. He continued by saying, We have never seen astronomical images like this before, containing so much detail. They are even more beautiful and sharp than we could have hoped for, showing us many previously unseen features 
in well-known areas of the nearby universe. As important as the first test images that were released at the end of July were, they were nothing to be compared with the recent visuals and the abilities of the telescope. The new images are as rich in color as they are in nuance, capturing previously unseen features in even some deeply studied cosmic objects. This goes a long way to assure astronomers that the telescope is able and ready to undergo its ambitious task of mapping the dark, invisible side of our universe. The hope is to uncover the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy by studying billions of galaxies that reside up to 10 billion light years away from Earth. And sure enough, much to the excitement of the team's scientists, a few of these faraway objects already appear in Euclid's first batch of images. In one go, the Euclid telescope can look at large expanses of sky, areas almost 100 times bigger than what the James Webb Space Telescope can observe, according to scientists. Each of Euclid's high-resolution images also includes over 600 million pixels, which is how they allow astronomers to see far into the distant universe. All in all, Euclid took a total of one single day to capture all five cosmic objects we see, chosen for public appeal as well as scientific value. I'm absolutely delighted to say that is the point where we say that we have reached all of our engineering milestones for the mission and we're now able to move into the science phase, Carol Mundell, ESA's Director of Science, said while revealing the images. It's a really special day today. One of the first galaxies Euclid observed is nicknamed the Hidden Galaxy. It resides about 11 million light years away from Earth. The Hidden Galaxy is usually obscured by cosmic gas, dark dust, and bright stars. But Euclid managed to use its near-infrared instrument to peer past that blanket and collect light from the galaxy's stars in just an hour of observing time. According to Leslie Hunt of the National Institute for Astrophysics in Italy, this image might look normal as if every telescope can make such an image, but that is not true. What's so special here is that we have a wide view covering the entire galaxy, but we can also zoom in to distinguish single stars and star clusters. One crucial fact to note is that the hidden galaxy is similar to our Milky Way, as it is also a spiral galaxy. For years, Astronomers have been unable to study our own galaxy since we live in it and can only see its edge. But by studying and dissecting other galaxies that offer us a better galactic view, we can understand more about our own galaxy, especially in tracing star formation history and evolution. During the reveal of the hidden galaxy image, René Lorai said, If you need to observe a billion galaxies, you have to start with one, and this is the one. Another suspect is neutralinos, which are massive hypothetical particles heavier and slower than neutrinos, although they have yet to be spotted. Sterile neutrinos are another candidate. Neutrinos are particles that don't make up regular matter. A river of neutrinos streams from the sun, but because they rarely interact with normal matter, they pass through Earth and its inhabitants. There are three known types of neutrinos. A fourth, the sterile neutrino, is proposed as a dark matter candidate. The sterile neutrino would only interact with regular matter through gravity. Dark energy and dark matter are two of the most mysterious aspects of physics that many scientists, physicists, and astronomers are looking to Euclid to help with answers. Although it is still in the first phase of its mission, the signs have been positive that it will achieve what it set out to do. The next six years are setting up to be an interesting one for scientists and humans in general, as we will be getting the closest looks into galaxies and the universe unlike ever before.